Welcome, I have rebooted and as you see I've already asked them an INC minus B and the driver he says is NVIDIA 340 108. So I'm, I'm all fine, basically, I'm done, right? Now there are other packages, this one we can launch, so you see all the information. If it doesn't show anything, like in the last video, it means it's not used, right? It's not there, but this is for me the green light. This in Inksy minus B says the driver is in use. You can check out other things, not really my cup of tea. Right, so this would be my interesting information maybe if you're gaming. How um, will everything change in temperature? But all these things, as these are more settings for gamers, so I guess you better uh, ask a gamer what's good for your machine, what's good for a game. But all the settings are right here. All right, yes, I want to quit. The other thing we've done, I've never shown in a video, so hence the idea to show you now. And that is if he is going to load it, right? Slow machine, old machine we're on. The sound is also a bit bad or worse because it's not a real mic, it's just a webcam. But it's all about notch, not about how much money I can spend on mics. So I'm looking for the history, that's what I was looking for. Five taps, ooh, there we are, cool. So back to the taps, right? So in the last video, we went in here, take a look at all the NVIDIA possibilities. This is the place to read everything. If you're stuck, it's here. And of course, Google, because there are lots of Arch Linux-based systems out there. You can have a look at Manjaro, there is um, KOS and so on and so on lots of Arch Linux based systems and forums to look and ask questions. And of course, ours as well. Official GeForce drivers, we went and have a look. What should I download? We used this, right? NVIDIA.com. We went and have a look what's inside 340XX utils. You can have a look at uh, in the search here. And we looked here on our own website, of course, on NVIDIA, lots of videos already, and well, one more to add to the list. But in the NVIDIA Arch Wiki, they said something that I've never uh, shown in the video. Many people get stuck on NVIDIA, so they install it, yay, successful, but then at some point in time, everything just goes black, right? So here it says to avoid the possibility of forgetting to update the init RAM file system after an NVIDIA driver upgrade, you may want to use Pac-Man hook, right? We can probably go in here and you can read this or that, but let's just do it. Basically, all I need to do is copy paste. I guess you can do that, copy, right? And then, well, then it's simple. Open a new window. Well, it's simple on Arch Linux anyway. Because we do file system, etc, pacman.d, here are hooks, but now I change to open folder as root, I become master, I control everything, right? But mind yourself, mind your actions, right? So we create a document in here, what should we call it? Do they give it a name? Yeah, they give it a name, nvidia.hook. Right? You can give, give it any name. It will just read all the hooks. Right? Open it up with something. Probably going to be Atom. Yep. Going to take a little bit longer. Sublime Text is faster. And Control V. So let's read it. Let's play in English. Operation. Whenever you install, whenever you upgrade, and whenever you remove the package, NVIDIA, and Linux, then you do something. What do you do? Update NVIDIA module in init CPU. Depends on make init CPIO, but we all have that. When, after any of these, post transaction, after install, upgrade, remove, what do you do? And then we read. 
uh, execute binary sha while read minus r tar gz whatever that is do case tar gz tar trg in linux exit zero exit else so this is a case structure case this and here the case structure ends dun dun basically go again and build the make in its cpio minus p and the minus p you can actually look it all up i'm not making this up just read it it's all on your machine um don't go googling things sometimes right minus p is all the presets everything that's inside make in its cpio dot d it's gonna be created so make in its cpio this one so the linux presets is going to be created and that's basically what you see every time you boot up you see um, grub and these elements are part of it all right so this is saved since we are administrator there is no pop-up and everything is okay I just was thinking about the TRG what that is I was thinking is it targets I don't know so if anybody knows put it on uh, on YouTube on uh, the chat there and in the comments while read minus R T TRG 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 it's not a command or anything Come on, not found. Hmm. Well, bottom line, this line is going to make a new, well, execute that particular um, Linux preset. And the rest, anything else? Make sure the target package set in this hook is the only, is the one you have installed in steps. Yeah, um, yeah, true. So if you've chosen NVIDIA LTS, it's gonna be LTS here. And uh, probably Linux LTS as well. That's gonna differ as well there. I don't see anything about that, but I guess that's the same. The complication is the complication in the exact line, that's it. Above is in order to avoid running make init CPIO multiple times if both NVIDIA and Linux get updated. Ah, that's why it is. Since we're making, we could make one hook for NVIDIA and one for Linux. But so they say to avoid running make init CPIO multiple times if both NVIDIA and Linux, if both the files get updated. Then you would run it twice, make in its CPO, and that's why I made this construction. In case this doesn't bother you, the target is Linux and the needs target lines may be dropped. And the exact line may be reduced to simply this. This I understand. <laughs> right? But um, I would say don't use this line because the Linux and NVIDIA are linked to each other. And sometimes this happens, as it's again common sense, there are hundreds of servers around the world and one server receives the Linux kernel but does not, of his, is about to receive NVIDIA, but not yet. You update, you get it from the server, what do you get? You get a Linux update and not an NVIDIA update, right? It's always tricky, these things. Anyway, do try it out. Um, this is uh, also the first time I'll try it out. I've never had any updates with um, updating NVIDIA, but right, I'm not a, well, not using them all my, this is the only machine I'm using it, right? So I update it sporadically, I mean, maybe three times, well, every three months, maybe, every month, so. So enjoy, see um, if there's something else that's missing that you say, okay or have tips maybe that's a good thing because i'm not a specialist in nvidia 
I use Intel mainly, but this machine has NVIDIA, so I can show you at least that. But uh, if there are tips, please put them underneath in YouTube. All right, cheers.